Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in our previous video, we started with our compute services. We worked on the Google Compute Engine. We deployed our simple web application on the Google Compute Engine and we also discussed what is a startup script in a Google Cloud. Now in this video, we are going one step ahead and we are discussing about the instance group in a Google Cloud. So if you already have a knowledge on AWS, so these are kind of similar with the ASG or auto scaling group in AWS. But now let's start discussing about a Google Cloud. So what is an instance group in a Google Cloud and why we should use an instance group in a Google Cloud. So with the help of instance group, we can achieve or we can get a full advantage of the cloud. Like what is the main difference between on premises and cloud that we can easily achieve. Uh, high availability, scalability and all these factors. So here with the instance group, we can achieve a high availability and a scalability in a Google Cloud with a very simple steps. Okay, so let's try to understand what is a high availability and what is scalability first. Now, let me just give you a simple example that I have a set of users or I have a multiple users across the globe who are accessing my web application which I deployed on the Google Compute Engine standalone VM. So now I'm not using the instance group here so I'm simply using the virtual machine in zone A in my Google Cloud project and I deployed my web application on this virtual machine. Now these users are accessing this application which is completely fine. Now suddenly what happened? My application crashed or my zone goes down. Now, what will happen? So my application also goes down and user will not able to access my application and my application is down now. So I'm not having high availability feature here because my application is not highly available. If my virtual machine crashed or something went wrong with my virtual machine or something wrong with my zone, then my complete application becomes down. Now let's see how we can achieve high availability with the instance group in a Google Cloud. Now let's take again the same example with the different setup. So we are having the same set of users. We are having a web application, but now this application is deployed on the instance group in a Google Cloud. So I have one virtual machine in zone A and I'm having one virtual machine in a zone B. So this part of the instance group and now the traffic is uh, distributed along the two VMs in zone A as well as a zone B. Now suddenly what happens, just take again the same example that something went wrong with my zone A virtual machine or zone A crashes, but my users are still accessing the application from the zone B and my application is still up and running. It means our application is highly available. Even though my complete zone down, my application is still up and running. Now this is how we can uh, showcase high availability that our application is highly available in a multiple zone. Now what is scalability? Now suppose there is a lot of load on my system and two of my virtual machine not able to handle this load. Then I can just scale the virtual machine from two virtual machine to four, four to six. I can define this scalability in my instance group. So I can scale based on the CPU utilization, based on the number of requests. So based on this, we can scale auto scaling policies for our instance group. Okay, hope it is clear now what is high availability and how instance group will help to manage our instances with the high availability. Now let's try to understand in detail in Google Cloud what is instance group. Okay, so I'll just go and let's see. So now in Google Cloud, we have a two instance group. One is managed instance group. So let's first talk about managed instance group. So when we talk about managed, it means it is managed by Google itself. Okay, so let's see what is managed instance group. So managed instance group let you operate apps on multiple identical VMs. So it means suppose I am having four virtual machine in my managed instance group. So these four virtual machines are completely identical. Their configurations are completely same and you cannot use a different configuration in your managed instance group and managed instance group offer uh, benefits like auto scaling, auto healing, a rolling update, multi-zone support and it is good fit for deploying highly available and scalable workload as we discussed. So these are the benefits. Now auto scaling just it will just scale up your 
virtual machine scale up the number of virtual machine at the back end as the load increases on your system auto healing means something went wrong with your application it will automatically detach it will automatically terminate that VM instance and it will create a new VM instance a rolling update so suppose if you have to update your application if you have to release a new feature then there is no no need to make any kind of downtime here without any downtime you can just release the newer version of your application with the rolling update and you can use a regional instance group that means you can have a instances in multiple zone and this is a good fit for highly available workload now as we discussed that for managed instance group we need a multiple identical vms but how we can make the virtual machine identical with the exactly same configuration so for that we have to use a instance template so we'll first we'll decide all the configuration and that configuration will be defined in the template and that template will be used to create number of virtual machine in the instance group so that was about the managed instance group now let's discuss about unmanaged instance group so unlike your managed instance group unmanaged instance group contains heterogeneous instances so you don't need to have identical vms here so simply you can create virtual machine and just group them together as unmanaged instance group but in case of managed instance group you cannot add the external instances which are created manually without any instance template but here you can just add any two virtual machine in the unmanaged instance group but you have to manage that completely google will not manage it and it will not offer you the features like auto scaling auto healing rolling update multi zone support all these features it will not provide you okay and this is useful when you have to apply a load balancing for heterogeneous instances or you need to manage the instances by yourself okay so you can use unmanaged instance group as well but mostly we'll discuss about managed instance group because it provides a lot of features and it is a good use case for a stateless application okay so that was about instance group now let's go and discuss in detail about a managed instance group so as we discuss managed instance group provide all these features auto healing regional support that we can create a virtual machines vm instances in multiple zone we can use a load balancing we can use auto scaling auto update all these features are available in a managed instance group now as we discuss we need to have a instance template to create our managed instance group or mig now let's talk about instance template so instance template define the machine type boot disk image or container image label starter script and other instance properties so as we discussed for creating the managed instance group we need a set of identical vm but how we can make the vms identical without a different configuration so it should be identical configuration so it is not possible with the manually creating the virtual machine or it is not allowed for the mig or managed instance group so for that first you have to create a template and in template you will define what machine type you need what boot disk image you need what labels you need and whatever you define it will be applicable on all the virtual machine which are using that instance template so we'll have a demo on this instance template and mig so just try to understand what is instance template first and you can use this instance template to create a mig or individual vms so this instance template are convenient way to save vm instance configuration so you can use it later to create vms or a group of vms so every time instead of selecting all the configuration you can create the instance template and then you can keep reusing that instance template with the identical configuration so this is a similar with our day to day life example suppose you have to create a resume okay so what you will do you will just ask your friend okay send me your resume and you will keep the structure same for your resume document or word document and you will simply replace the field are changed for your profile so you will change your name you will change a school city you will change some job profile but you will keep the structure same and that template you can keep reusing for your multiple friends so the simple way we are doing for instance template as well so we'll use one template and every time we'll just reusing that template for creating the managed instance group or mig okay so that was the introduction of instance group in google cloud 
what is managed instance group what is unmanaged instance group and what is an instance template now I'll go to Google Cloud console and we'll just create our first managed instance group in a Google Cloud we'll also see how we can create a instance template and we'll also deploy a simple web application with managed instance group and we'll see how we can achieve high availability and scalability with that managed instance group